Well, are you ready for part two of our beautiful lady and zebra? I think she's turned out so pretty. So I have gone ahead and I used um, my white uh, Dort Chinese pencil and I colored in, you probably cannot see it, but I colored in all of the white on, on the zebra. Um, and now I just started down here on his foot. Um, coloring in the black. And we're not going to use just black. I'm, I'm going to use black, but we're going to first go over it with um, a Persian blue. I was trying to find an uh, um, indigo blue, and I'm sure I have it. I just can't see it. <laughs> but anyway, the Persian blue, any really dark blue will work. So instead of coloring with just straight black, if you will use a dark, dark blue, you will get a much deeper and more solid black. So we've colored our blue in, and now we're going to go over it with our black. And you will see that it is going to come out so much better. Test it for yourself and see what happens. If you just color it um, with black, let's try a small spot. Let's try here. Just to show you the difference. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is more gray where this is a deeper, deeper um, black. So I'm going to see if I can go over this with the blue and then cover it up again with the black. It's already better. So if you want a, a nice, rich, dark black use a dark blue indigo preferably but any really dark blue that you have and then go over it let me get my little cushions These are new, so they're a little hard to push on there. That's okay. Now do I have? Yeah, I do. It is so much more comfortable. And it is as simple as that. So using other colors, under other colors, change things a lot. It's just you need to experiment a little bit. And it's fun. Just get your piece of paper and and give it a shot. I did do some watercoloring on the very last page of this book today. And actually it it did it did pretty good. I'll show you when we get get down there with this one. 
So I thought that was good. Um, I was careful not to over wet it either though. I used my watercolor brush, not the watercolor brush that's filled with water. I used my regular watercolor brush. I almost feel like I've wasted my money on all those watercolor brushes. Because they were, they give off too much water or not enough water, and then you get way too much water. And a little watercolor brush, a couple of sizes is all you need for these. And yes, I already had them. And you want to get a real watercolor brush that is for watercolors. They hold a lot of water. They don't just dump your water here and there. They uh, distribute it very evenly. It's amazing. What a difference it makes rather than using and I've I've gotten a few of those and I'm sure they're they're great if you're going to go out side but I'm thinking why not pack a little tin of water It's hard to tell which one of these is which. <laughs> you have all these lights in your face. I did it again. Post office was supposed to deliver all my Prisma new colors. And they're not new colors, they're just replacements, but they didn't get here. And they were out for delivery. So I hope they didn't get lost somewhere. Hopefully they'll be here today. I watched the most interesting video. It's a couple years old. I wish I, I, I got to remember who her, her name is. She's the one that has 10,000, if you watched her video, 10,000 uh, colored pencils. But um, She did some investigating and found out that a lot of the colored pencil cheap ones are all the same, the same thing, even coming from the same company. Just people buying them and putting their own brand on them and, and reselling them. And I thought, oh my gosh, she wasn't saying good or bad. So there are some that are bad. So there are some that are good. But a lot of them are all exactly the same pencil. She, she says, watch for, like these, the black ones is what she was talking a lot about. And the ends, how they... So mine were probably, there's probably many other off-brand names of... Of what I'm using, I don't know. So, I 
it's good to stick with what you know. And once the castle art is gone, I probably won't replace them. I will just stick with my prisma and my polychromos because I can replace the colors that I want. But in the meantime, I'm going to use these until I use them up. So I got a lot of coloring with them. And I did just order a bunch of them from a company in Texas, the Prisma, for $1.35 a piece. And then you have to pay the shipping, which is $8. And then I divided that into, I think I got 16 So I think all together it came to $30 and some cents, so my pencil was a dollar eighty. Which at Hobby Lobby I paid two dollars and twenty-three cents or two twenty something. Both Hobby Lobby and Michaels. It's hard to find a place that carries and has the uh, every color that you want. So I'm just not complaining. I'm just saying I'm glad I got what I got. And some of them that I use more of I order two of, especially the greens. And that's basically what I ordered was greens. See how, what a pretty, um, deep black that, um, using the dark blue and then the black over the top of it. I know there's another color you're supposed to use over the top, but I couldn't find my little, my little sticky note. I probably threw it in the trash. You would think by now I would learn to put them in my book. I'm glad I came in here and did all the white so you don't have to be bored watching me just color the white. Tomorrow we're going to do something out of my cat book. I'll just dedicate this week to all of these books. I have an angel book and I have the bird book. Beautiful birds. What else do I have? I don't know, I have quite a few of them. I think I, I should have done this black and then moved down, I didn't. So. Well, I 
could still do it and just it will just be a little fatter. Whoops, see it's 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 almost gray compared. to what you get when you do this blue underneath it. And this has got white underneath it on top of it. <laughs> like, oh yeah. We might get a little bit of a shade of gray in there, but that's okay. Okay. Trying to decide. I can kind of see the white. I should have started from the center and worked out. I'm going to have to put something over this so I don't smear it. Definitely don't want to smear it into the to the white. And you do want to go just on the other side of this line. So that the blue isn't showing through. I'm seeing a little tiny bit here and there. So maybe outline it like I like to do anyway. And then I'll have it covered. I'm piece of paper there we go Maybe if I outline this and stay right on the inside. Little tiny bit of blue there, little bit of black there. <laughs> It's going to be pretty. Can't 
remember who who said that about the blue and the black and boy it sure works so if you're listening <laughs> or know who it is i thank you because this is such a good it's you can go over and over and over it to get it black black and it just gets heavy and gunky and With this blue, it just, it just covers it right up, makes it really pretty. My neighbor by the window I'm setting by is string trimming his yard. He does that at least once a year. <laughs> I don't think they even go out in their backyard. Used to have some neighbors, the kids would come over once in a while, but and play. It's always good to hear kids having a good time. As long as they're not mean, huh? <laughs> neighborhood has parties and they rent those big jumping balloon things they get inside they leave them up and then they come all come back the next day and they all have a good time all over again I think the parents do too <laughs> I just hate it when they put that thumping music on. And all you hear really is thump, 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 thump. <laughs> that makes me crazy. always have to see which pencil's which because I can't tell by the color. The ends are dark too. <laughs> oh well. I think, I think we finally have spring. I'm glad it's slowly warming up and we don't just, you know how it does sometimes, it just goes from cold to hot. And then it does never quit. I'm going through my closet and pulling out all my, my winter, winter stuff and Getting it all folded up, and I'm going to go through my, I have a little tub, and I'll go through it and pull out all my summer clothes and give them a little washing and get them hung up. I 
and I'll be all ready and always leave out a sweatshirt and a sweater. <laughs> Because you do have those days when you, you, you need we're supposed to be getting some rain I think tomorrow and then it's supposed to move on and get bad for those folks I was born in Kansas, so we went there every summer. I know what scary weather's like. Remember me and my cousins, we were all at my grandma's house. And it was bad. <laughs> Then, which one do I have? I have the wrong one. I have the right one, but I have the wrong one. I was trying to cover up this little bit of blue. It's right on the edge. Okay, I think we'll do all three of these blue now. It doesn't show her skirt that trailing part it looks like the teal and the blue are the same color I was noticing that when I was watching the video but they're not at all the same color which is kind of weird camera on my old phone made everything look ten times better than it really was and this one was supposed to be a much better camera it is not near the camera my other camera was It always made me look good <laughs> Compar comparative to what the real life picture is. Oh, look at him, isn't he pretty? That is a beautiful zebra. Let's do his little backbones here. Let's see which pencil do I got. Okay, let's switch. Whoops. I have to erase that a little bit. This made me happy that I got a couple of things paint colored in this book. And then I listened to a lady and she has given away some of her color books. She's keeping it at 99. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. And so she's trying to make sure that she's colored in the ones that she's never even touched yet. This year, that's her goal. 
if you're listening, good luck. <laughs> it's hard. I try not to look at new color books at all. Not until I get some of these colored in. Because I like the ones I got. Her little ring looks like she has a real little ring on, doesn't it? have fun opening up my winter or summer box because I don't remember the new things that I got the year before and so I'm like I don't remember I remember I left out a few short sleeve t-shirts to wear underneath sweatshirts and stuff because double layering makes you warmer and since I don't work anymore I'm home almost all the time I just wear comfortable clothes all the time. And nowadays, you just go to church that way, too, so. Half my closet is nice clothes, and half of it is casual, and you hate to get rid of your, your nice things, because as soon as you do, you're going to need them. about doing some crocheting this afternoon fix my little barren quilt that I started and see if I can get them done it's like wow I thought about something besides coloring but I do love to color it's just next 
like as soon as I get one done, it's like, what's next? What's next? What do I want to do? With that, working on my my apkin while it's still cool because it's getting pretty big. In the summertime, it'll be too hot to have it hanging all over you while you're working on it. And I messed up somewhere. I have to take some out and go back and see why. I was doing a follow along tutorial thing. But they kept leaving things out. And it was such a beautiful quilt. Or Look at that. Is she not beautiful? Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. All right. So the only thing we would do is take, um, my eyes are not adjusting well here, some gray. Let's try it with this warm gray 120. And just the parts where you would sh be in the shade, you can um, give him a little little bit of I think we want to be careful going over the black so we don't pull it out See, I kind of spread it there. But you can kind of pull it back. barking dog he barks no matter what <laughs> he barks at the planes he barks at the squirrels he barks at the birds there's a neighbor who's got a cat right across from his porch and that cat will get up in the window on the weekends especially I guess when they're home and he just lays up there in that window and he stretches. He knows that dog sees him. <laughs> We're just any place where there's a little place where it might need some shading, like under here. We gotta be careful not to pull that black down. Put 
that maybe. So his hooves, sometimes they're dark and sometimes they're not. I think, let's try just doing just the black. Let's see how that'll work. So we don't have to make them real black, just Just leave a little shine. Let's see if we put a little gray if it no. That just made it disappear. So let's take our white. Let's see if we can't make a little shine in it. Not a lot, just a little. Push a little of this black down and pull it across. Okay. Well, let's flip it around. And let's take the gray and make it really dark right there. Then we're going to take our black, just, just a little bit, like that. And then we can take our gray and smear it out, like that. Okay. I'm going to put some gray on the bottom. Let's put the black on the top. In a small space, it's okay, but in a bigger space, So where is my oops that's the wrong totally wrong thing let's do it too that's not what I want there we go I'm gonna cover up his whole eye complaining about yesterday <laughs> but I know I have a package of these too I'm 
Okay. Now, let's do his mane and his tail. Are they black? I'm thinking they are. So where's our blue? There we go. I think we'll do. Let's try this. Let's see. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's what I was thinking of, because it'll kind of make it highlighted. Then we'll just come underneath here. Just like that. And I think, do we have a mustache? Just looking for a fleshy, very light fleshy color. And I'm sticking with it. Hmm. We could do a little bit back here. to keep looking to see where is my blue Just have to pay attention, not get my hand in that black. And then I got a neighbor with weed whacker on one side and uh, the other one building something. I got good neighbors, I can't complain. All right, let's see what happens. the white part I'm just going to go lightly I'm not going to press and then try to let it just be a lighter gray or a lighter black
Okay, I need a drink. I like these. Ice. Most of the time I don't drink the whole thing and I just put the lid back on it and I might drink it for a couple days. They give you that little bit of sweetness. They're not really sweet, but they are. It gets the fruit. Oops, I'm sorry. I sent y'all flying. I don't know if you can hear that, that saw. I think I'm just going to fill it in. It doesn't. I don't like it like that. <laughs> okay. Let's do his tail. Not sure what all this little curlicue thing is. Is it going around and around or is that 
that's supposed to have something on it. Excuse me. some of the gray in here see what happens if anything <laughs> Okay, let's see. I gotta pull my eraser thing out. I don't know if this is gonna work or if I'm even gonna like it. I'm making little highlights with the eraser. Let's see what happens. doesn't want to clean up. <laughs> Where's my little white pen? 
Let's see what happens. I did this on the... Okay, let's see where we're at. Oh, I think he looks pretty good. Let's do these down here. And where's my can? Here it is. Let's see. Let's do some yellow. Let's brighten it up down here. Maybe we'll fill these in. This is that yellow, prim primrose yellow. Just real light. It's gonna put a little color in it, not much. Just here. little guys and we did that one in blue so where's the blue let's start here yeah that's 
that's pretty. Let's put a little blue down here on this little flower. And what else we got? Hmm. Tick-tock. This is that teal green. That's pretty good. Now let's do what we did over here. Let's see, that's the light color, so we'll just leave that in the background. Like that. Reminds me of the color of the worn sickles when I was a kid. They had orange sherbet on the outside and ice cream in the inside. Mmm, those little push up things. They were good. <laughs> Funny how you associate different colors with different things. Okay, where's my eraser? Let's see if we can get rid of this. Pretty much. Just let it take you and make whatever it wants to make. <laughs> Just add some teal. We'll just put all these colors back in here now. On the dress.
I'm just putting the teal in here. Milo turquoise is actually what it's called. It just, every color just adds more and more to these pictures. I just love painting, coloring in these. Because you can just really get colorful if you want. And I want. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's do this down here. Trying to bring in all the color all over the place. Share the wealth. I'm liking this picture. I love her dress. I love the zebra. It turned out so pretty. And the black in him is so black. I love it. So now let's do, let's bring some of that red put in her dress. I'm trying to see which one we use. The brilliant, I know that. And this one, okay. Sounds like the wind's kicking up. It is, okay. I thought surely that guy isn't making all that noise. I think he was sanding, but at least that way. Sorry, keep doing. That. I got you guys really close today.
Okay, so maybe we can do that blue going this way. the red again. Oops. Trying to color underneath this camera, it's not fun. <laughs> and I don't think I got the right color. Let's try going with this one. get that red off of there. Okay, let's see. We just got a few more spots. What else can we do? The orange. That's red. I think I'm going to use some chalk for the background. I just want to use like a um, kind of gold sandy color. Is what I'm thinking.
Bring just a little more blue in here. These pages are so easy to keep bending that corner up instead of um, letting it lay flat. such a soft pretty blue okay I think that part of it I think we're gonna say it's done I'm put my pencils up and then I'm gonna pull you guys up a little ways and you can see the whole Picture. Well, let's see now. Let me get my chalks out. Must have stuck it somewhere. I just had it out today. While we were talking. So, we can go back to using my little palette knife. gonna use let's see I want to do a little of this up in here I'm gonna try to stay off of the
Okay, that's gonna be fun. I think we're good. Try a Q-tip. Let's try that. Now it shouldn't stick, but you know what? It's such, it's white. Don't want it to. I like it. It does look like dirt, doesn't it? Like sand, dirt. like how he's kind of raised up and I think we're gonna call that good I like it a lot What do you think? Oh, I just I love it. I think it turned out really, really pretty. Yep. I will spray it. I was going to show you the one I did back here. I did this one. And um, 
watercolors and then I uh, did some pencils in here too but you can see it it took the watercolor pretty good and I did all of these I did come back over them with pencil though but I did come down all of this all of this is watercolor this is watercolor and I think I did those in pencils and then I did the chalk background which is really hard to see on camera sometimes when I hold it up closer you can see the different colors and then she turned out pretty <laughs> I just love this book well thank you one and all in case you didn't see the other one let me show you the other pages I did this was the first one I did and I put stickles and then I did I thought one other one. Oh yeah I did this one I did in four different colors so so far I have had a good time I will put some stickles I think on on this one and maybe a little bit on this one but I thank you very much for watching I thank you all my subscribers all my friends uh, let's go out and find somebody to cheer up today or make their day by giving them a smile or baking them a cookie or let's do something nice for somebody today. And I hope you all know that I love you all and I thank you very much for watching and subscribing. You have a wonderful day.